Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I make videos on planning, organization, and sometimes a little bit of lifestyle. I have a link for my socials down below if you wanna follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. But today I'm so excited because I have a huge haul that I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm so excited about it because I got a lot of really cute different things and I think you guys are gonna love these. But before we get started, I'd like to take a second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. They have so many different topics like photography, graphic design, marketing, business tools, and more. I came across a class that I thought would be really interesting. It's called Portrait Photography Shoot and Edit Instagram Worthy Shots by Jessica, who is a photographer. And this class has 11 video lessons and it takes you through planning your shoot, gathering the right materials, retouching, editing, and really everything that goes into getting that perfect shot. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, but the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So let's get right into it. Okay, first I got a few different items from Mochi Things, and I've gotten so many questions on these little circle sticky notes that I've shown in my planner, and they are from Mochi Things. I originally purchased them on Etsy, but I found them directly on their website. Okay, so I got these in three different colors. I got the Rose Palette, which has these really nice pink tones um, and some like warmer, kind of like mauve tones, which are really pretty. And then I got two of the honey because I really, really like these colors. So I wanted to have some extras of these. And then I also got the gray and it has six different shades of gray going from like really light, almost white, down to this kind of darker charcoal color. And these are just great for popping in little notes in your planner or in your calendar. I also grabbed some of these sticky notes. These are the pink lemonade and I think they had some other colors too. And I just thought these were really pretty and a little bit different. And then I also got some of these circle stickers. These came in other shapes and other colors. I only got three colors and each package comes with two sheets of stickers. So I got this like rose colored one which has um, some really nice warm tones and some purples. And then I really liked this one. It has a lot of really nice neutrals and browns and then it also has some greens mixed in there. And then this one matches the honey sticky notes and I just thought that was cute. Um, it has a lot of yellows but it also has some really nice warm neutrals too. So I thought these would be nice for journaling or just using in your planner. And I really like that they have matte sticker paper so they're really easy to write on. And then I also got a few notepads for Mochi Things. So I got the daily plan, the weekly plan, and this monthly plan notepad. It has the monthly calendar, which is a Sunday start, and then it also has a to-do section and a goal tracker. And all of these are undated, so the weekly plan is a horizontal weekly layout, so the days run across this way. And then on half of the page you have a to-do list, a goal tracker, and a note section. And then finally, we have the daily plan. Up here at the top, you can put in the weather, and then you can go ahead and date your page, select the day of the week, and then you have a huge time schedule. So you can map this out and do it however you want to. Um, I really like this untimed schedule because not everyone runs from like 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., although a lot of people do. There are people who work like night shift and things like that. So if you have um, a little bit of a different schedule, this is great because you can just put in custom times and then put in tasks or descriptions of what you have planned for the day. Over here you have a lined to-do list and some grid notes. Okay, next I got some refills for my Uniball Signo 307, which is one of my favorite pens. I got these off of Amazon and it also came with some of these little page flags. So I have this linked in my storefront, but these are just great if you're already using the Signo Uniball and you just need to get some refills. These are perfect. It's the exact same ink that comes in the original pen. 
Okay, and then from Daiso, I got some of these A5 soft card cases. And I saw this idea from a few different people. I think Ivy Mill is the Instagram account where I saw it. But since then, I've seen it on other Instagram accounts. So hopefully, I'm crediting the right person. But these are A5 size soft card cases. They're the perfect size to fit in your A5 size agenda. So I'll remove this so you guys can see. It's basically just a clear pocket. So you can throw in some paper, you can throw in receipts and hole punch it and then keep it in your planner. So if you have a paper dashboard that you wanna protect and then put like a little casing on it, you can do that. And they also had other sizes. I think I saw B6 and maybe a few other sizes, but I'll leave a link for all of this down below. Next, I got some pens from Let's Make It Sparkle. I loved her pen selection, so I got a few different things. Okay, so first I got this set of three uni pin fine line marker pens, and I was just interested in trying these to see if I would like them. So I decided to just get one of each color, and I really like these. I'll do a swatch of each of these for you guys, but I really like these because they are marker pens, but they're really, really fine tipped. I already tried each of these in my planner and they don't bleed, they don't smear, and I really like the way that they write. I think it makes my handwriting look a little bit better. And I like the different colors. So this one is just black, so it looks like really any other black pen. This one is a dark gray, and then this one is a lighter gray. And then I also got some of these dot pens. So these are really nice. They have a dot built into the marker. So the tip of the marker is a dot and depending on how much pressure you put, you can make a small, medium, or large size dot. And this is perfect if you like using transparent dot stickers. It gives you the same kind of look and effect, but it's really nice because you don't have to keep buying stickers. You can just get one of these pens in the color that you like um, and use it over and over again. So I really, really like that idea. And it's dual tipped, so the other side has a fine tip marker for writing or crossing things off or checking things off. So I just thought this was a really good find um, on Natalie's part. So I got it in three different colors. This one is the Fawn. I got the Island Coral and Platinum. And then lastly, I got these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And these are a water-based brush pen, similar to a Tombow. The tip is a little bit different, but same kind of idea. So you can use these as art markers or in your journal, or you can use them in your planner or however you want. Um, it's water-based, so it doesn't bleed, which is really nice. And the colors I got were this Pale Dawn Gray. I think she had it listed as Eucalyptus, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one is oatmeal. So a really nice brown neutral color. And you guys know I love my neutral colors. So I'm really excited to use these in my planner. And then finally, I got a few different things from the container store. So I ordered a giant desk pad calendar and a few different notebooks. Okay, you guys, so this is a desktop calendar pad. It is huge. It's really great if you have an extra table or some counter space that you can lay this out on, or you can find a way to hang it up on your wall. Um, but I really like this for planning out big projects or you wanna see a really in-depth view of your month. This has so much space to plan. So it has a monthly calendar. The days are listed up at the top. It has Sunday through Saturday. And then along the right hand side, it has a monthly to-do list. So it has one through 31 for the days of the month and you can use that to see any tasks or important dates in a list format. And then down at the very bottom, it has notes. So you can go ahead and add like extra notes or things that you have to do or a color coding key um, or takeaways or things for next month. So I really liked that it included a couple of different things besides just the monthly calendar but I am really excited to use this. I feel like it would be really helpful if you have a huge project that you're planning, like a home renovation, a wedding, or if you're planning content for the month. It's a great way to get a lot of information into one spread. So this is a large notebook comparable to like a letter size notebook. To me, it looks a little bit bigger than that, but it has tons of paper and I just love the simplicity of it. The front cover is a clear frosted plastic material. And then each of the pages has a spot for the date up at the top and lined notes. And then I also got this version of the notebook. Spirals are up on the top. It has the same clear frosted cover. 
and then each of the pages has a spot for the date and lined notes. Okay, and finally, the last thing I got was this really cool notepad. I really liked the industrial look of it, and I feel like this would be good for anyone, men, women, professionals. It looks really chic and nice on your desk, and it just has like an extra level of style to it. So this is a daily notepad. You can select the month up at the top. You can put in the day of the week and then write in the date. And then it has a spot for your daily focus, a long to-do list. And then at the bottom it has notes and it's perforated in two sections. It has one perforation up at the top and then the note section is perforated too. So if you're using this for your daily spread and you wanna list your grocery list or a note that you have to give to someone or a message, you can put that down in the note section and then rip that section off separately. So I just thought that was a really cool added feature to this. You can really tell how much work went into the design and the function of it. So I thought this was really great and definitely worth the price. So that's everything I got in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will try to leave links for everything down below. If I miss anything, just let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.